The Red Lip is one of the most iconic makeup products of all time. So why aren't women over 50 wearing it? I'm Laura Ray. I was scared of a red lip. For so long, I refused to wear red. And it was my husband that convinced me to start wearing it. He says, you just come to life when you have red on your lips. I love it. So I started playing around with red lipstick, different shades of red, different textures to see if I could overcome some of the issues I was having. I was getting it into my fine lines around my lips. It would end up on my teeth. I just, all kinds of things that were happening with the red lip that I just thought it wasn't going to work. But I've come up with some things that really makes a red lip work for me that I want to share with you and how I do the rest of my makeup when I wear a red lip. First of all, when I wear a red lip, I love a neutral eye. And you probably have some beautiful neutral shades at home already in your stash. But I love this one from Laura Geller. It's called Tuscan Dreams. And I'm using these eyeshadows here. They look so beautiful on the eye, especially when I use a fluffy brush. Today I'm using the Nikki LaRose brush. This is the number N13. And you can buy these separately now, so that's great. And I love just diffusing the eyeshadow over the mobile lid and a little above my crease. And then I go in with her French Vanilla. This is her highlighter, but it's so soft. It's not too sparkly. It's just a perfect highlighter for a mature eye. I use it there up in this area under the brow, but it's really meant to be a highlighter. So I definitely also add it to the cheeks. For liner, I love a powder liner. I'm going into the deepest shade here, Luna. Now I also, if I want a little more intensity, will add a setting spray to it. I'm using the CoverGirl today, but I just barely wet it and then go into the eyeshadow and it helps to give a lot more pigment and intensity to it. It looks like a liquid liner, but so much softer much better than a felt pen. Plus, that's one less product you have to buy. For my final step, I always apply mascara. I'm using the brand new L'Oreal Panorama today. It does a great job on my lashes. It really makes them stand out. And just because you're doing a neutral eye doesn't mean your eyes can't be even the focus of the look. You can still have beautiful eyes without having so much color. Let's talk about shades of red. Now there's blue red and more of an orange red. I tend to like both of them because my skin tone's neutral. If you have more of a cool skin tone, then I would say go with a blue red. If your skin tone is more warm, then more of an orange. And if you're neutral like me, you can pretty much use both of them. If you have dark skin with cool undertones, then I say a burgundy looks amazing. If you have warm skin with a deep tone, then I say go with a wine. That will absolutely be your perfect shade. When I'm trying to keep my uh, lipstick out of my lip lines, and I do have fine lines a little under the lip here and a few above the lip, I go in with a lip liner that's clear. And you could also use a red lip liner, but that gets a little tricky. I feel that using a clear lip liner really works best. And this one's from Sephora. It's called their Prime Universal Lip Liner. I just think it's fantastic. It keeps, it puts up like a barrier so that the lipstick won't run up into those lines. So I make sure to keep this handy. Another product that I love is this. This is from Guerlain and this is a lip primer that blocks your own lip shade. Right now I'm wearing one of the most iconic reds. It's Fire and Ice from Revlon. And this would not look the same on me if I put it on my natural lip because my natural lips are very deep and almost mauve. So when I wear a red lip, it doesn't often look like it does in the tube unless I wear this. Now, this is a very pricey product, but I find this lasts so long. I've had it quite a while. I'm ready to buy another tube. And I really like it because it does block uh, the shade of my own lips. 
It also primes the lips and makes the lipstick go on very smoothly. If you have thinner lips, what I would recommend is use something that's more of a balm, that's not so thick or heavy. One that I love is from CoverGirl. This shade is so gorgeous. It's one of my favorite. It's the shade You're the Palm. It goes on so easily. I can throw this in my purse. I don't even need a lip liner with this because it just seems to stay on my lips and not move around too much. But if yours does, then I recommend using the clear liner. This is a shade Love from It Cosmetics. It's from their Genesis Qua line. We don't hear about this much anymore, but it's such a great product. They have one that turns with the pH in your lips. This is not that. This is an actual shade Love. It stays on the lips. It's very hydrating. Again, if your lips are a little thinner than they used to be, I think these balmy texture products with red in them are just such a great option. Another important thing I find is having a lip brush. Now, I was watching Sonia Kashuk do uh, one of her makeup tutorials from several years ago, and she talked about just putting the lipstick on in the center of the lips and then bringing it out. And that is a great technique, not only with any lipstick, but especially with red. So today I'm using two of the most iconic reds on the planet, and one is cherries in the snow. This is just such a gorgeous blue red. It has a lot of blue in it and it makes your teeth look really white. I just think it's such a great choice, so affordable. Now the other most iconic one is fire and ice. This is more of an orangey red and I just think it looks beautiful too. Now I wouldn't like it on me just so harsh right just putting it on the lips and leaving it like that. When I blend the lipstick out with a lip brush, it doesn't make my lips look so heavy. It doesn't bring out the fine lines, and it just gives me more confidence when I'm wearing red. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I hope you'll subscribe. I have some great videos planned ahead. Now, ladies, I am so excited for you to go out there and wear red if you don't. If you do, let me know your favorite shades of red lipstick that you wear. I would love to know that, and there would be some new ones maybe for me to try. I appreciate and love you all so much. Go out there and wear some red today.